Hola muchacho, muchachete, ¿cómo está usted? Eh, es Fredo Lange. ¿Dónde, dónde o oh, desde, desde uh, México en Quintana Roo? Now it's the last few days of this amazing three weeks trip at uh, kind of experimentation of, uh, of uh, what we call a, a responsible travel with uh, meeting the Mayan community. Uh, exploring uh, on discover or unofficial archaeological site, uh, the one in Kuluba and the one in Chak-Chak. I will have to put the name and try to pronounce it better. So now, of course, I'm in the great uh, Cancun Red Stripe for the last few days of that trip. And uh, this is an intro for what you're going to see uh, following, especially for you, Brian, and some other enthusiasts of archaeology. I'm going to put you a footage of Kuluba and some footage of the name I'll put in the description to make sure we'll be able to pronounce well in Mayan. Uh, so it's two sites, not known to the public now, and the Yucatan, one near uh, Tizimin in El Coyo, uh, and the other one is going back to uh, near Coba. Coba uh, uh, even has some kind of Mayan trail that goes in between those sites. So enjoy and see you soon, guys. And for sure, Brian, uh, I'm thinking of going back to Peru in August, and, uh, but I'll be with you next February uh, 2021 for this great Mexican tour with or without my colleague here in the Yucatan. So cheers and have a nice day. Welcome to the Fredo Lounge. Uh, I'm Alexandre Frédéric Jolie from Montreal, Quebec, and I'm pleased to uh, share with you uh, a great uh, part of my adventure, my last trip to the Yucatan Peninsula uh, with my dear uh, great friend uh, Marlon Mercantil. I will put all the link in the description below for the uh, this independent travel agency. And this is also for one of my other colleagues in the uh, ancient history, uh, archaeology, astrophysic, and more, Brian Foster. Link also for Eden and Kator in the description below. So as you could see, we are entering now this Kuluba site, as you will be able to see on the map uh, where it is located, actually. This is a non-open um, for public, necessarily, site. Again, in the description, you could follow more information about uh, how to get there or to respectfully uh, ask the archaeologists from the INA. INA is the uh, Institute National for uh, Archaeologica and Historia of Mexico. Um, so you'll be able to actually um, see it. Uh, and uh, yeah, you have to have uh, con permiso, la, the permission to get inside uh, right now free. So I don't want to create that video to create a hype. It's just for scientific curiosity and exploration purpose. As you know, the, the goal of this channel is contemplation, uh, learning, sharing together, uh, simply and hopefully. Uh, so you're going to see uh, really soon that we're entering that site and I will make some comment as we go along and also some questions for you out there the community of uh, archaeologists geologists and more in history uh, so is it Mayan is it maybe someone else we'll see so as you could see you entering the site like this and at your left it's what they call the Castillo but you'll see later this is not this is not a temple, uh, it looks like a warehouse to me and to some of my colleagues that were with me that day. So, yeah, so beautifully uh, clean site. And as you could see, this is only one part of the site, which is be at your left of the road that we came in from the kind of parking lot and this is 
Hi Brian, how are you? How are you going there? So I am on a site in Mexico, in the Estado de Yucatan. It's um, Nuevo Cito que llama, uh, que llama Culcuba. I will give you the uh, coordinate and so on. So maybe next year, because I'm with my amigo Marlon, the Voyages Responsible. And maybe it could be a good addition to a hidden Mexican Maya tour or hidden Maya tour. As you could see, it's free of charge for now. Of course, if you have a group of 30 people, this might be, um, we'll have to coordinate something, but um, very interesting uh, site. So yeah, so very interesting site, as I was saying so far. And I think uh, it could be a great, new asset and the Mexican tour um, for next year so stay tuned uh, my dear friend and uh, oh one momento yeah definitely so I'm just arriving here we're discovering this site called Colcuba in the Yucatan Peninsula near Tisimin in Valladolid so stay tuned and I hope to build something interesting with my friend Marlon and maybe more. So let's see it. So I don't have much information. Oh, sorry. So far, but uh, definitely could be part of our research. Ciao, Brian. So we are still on the site of Culcuba in the estado of the Yucatan and Mexico. It's a new site that is part of research right now. I didn't identify if it's the uh, INA, Instituto Nacional de Arqueológica en Historia, or uh, other people from other countries, but it's a complete new site. Oh, so we are just discovering it. Not much information for now. And, uh, Yes. It's definitely what so I'm gonna do a spread right now and I'll come back with more pictures to share with the community about any thoughts of any of your field of expertise which is archaeology, anthropology, physics, geology, and so on and so on. <clears throat> So I see a pattern here in each of this, these chambers. I don't know if you see it. This pattern of, could it be a snake representation of Kukulkan? I don't know. I'm an expert of nothing here. I'm just discovering with my friend Marlon with his new wish of doing an exploration. And, uh, Turismo Responsible and Tour. So all of these chamber, oh, here it is. Another pattern of this kind of little, I don't know if it's to sustain, but it's always the same pattern. Yeah, and every chamber and even outside. Very, very much interested. As you can see here, it's my friend Marlon and his friend Marisol. So to be continued, this exploration with more picture for you to judge and maybe to come back next February 2021. Hopefully Brian, please Brian, meet virtually Marlon hey, Mercantil. He's Marlon, he's a uh, new company. New company, El Voyage de Carnan, that you could collaborate with. Responsible tours and... Next, I'm not live, of course, but some we'll nice admit. Stuff. And as, a, as you could see it to... If you could show these things. to geologists, anthropologists and others, especially that pattern here that we see in every chamber. It's very, very interesting. So, Ryan, have it for our file. And we'll come back soon with more evidence. Mm -hmm.